Right. This is going to be short. Crap justice system. Another thing that no one talks about is that Dubai's justice system is a joke because the authorities always side with the people native to Dubai and not with foreigners. For example, if you're driving through the city center and a drunk Dubai man hits you, the Dubai police will say that you caused the accident. Long-term economic growth in Dubai could also be slowed by the city's lack of democracy and the fact that one person has a lot of power over the city's institutions. Labor rights abuses. Dubai has been criticized for its treatment of low-skilled migrant workers, many of whom are from South Asia. These workers have been subject to poor working conditions, low wages, and long working hours, as well as a lack of legal protections. Human trafficking. Human trafficking is a major problem in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates, UAE, as a whole. The country is both a destination and a transit point for human trafficking, particularly for women and children who are forced into prostitution or domestic labor. Victims of human trafficking in Dubai and the UAE come from a variety of countries, including South Asia, Africa, Eastern Europe, and the Philippines. They are often lured to the UAE with promises of well-paying jobs, but upon arrival, they find themselves in debt bondage, forced to work long hours with little or no pay, and living in poor conditions. The root causes of human trafficking in Dubai and the UAE are complex and multifaceted, but they include factors such as poverty, lack of education, and a lack of legal protections for migrant workers. Additionally, the UAE's economic boom and its reputation as a destination for luxury and international business have also contributed to the increase of trafficking. The government of Dubai and the UAE so, have taken steps to... This is what you're watching. Such as by establishing the dark side of Dubai, the bubble is about to collapse. To and prosecute trafficking cases. However, the problem remains widespread, and more needs to be done to protect and assist victims of... Now, there's been much said about Amnesty International um, having a go at the Premier League for the ownership model which we have at Newcastle United with um, the PIF. Now, I was just scanning through and I found this. And this is today, which is Friday night. So like I say, I'm sharing this with you.